I want you to listen to this part of this record. Right. It's only possible to do cool effects like that with automation. And today I'm going to show you how you can automate your boss or sends or different elements in your aux tracks in Logic Pro. All right, because I've been getting a few requests on how to do that. It's actually quite simple. Let's begin. One of the first things you will notice is the fact that down here at the end of my session, I have lead, short, reverb, reverb. Pretty much I have all of my aux tracks arranged at the bottom of my session. Typically, you don't get this by default in Logic Pro. So the first thing you're going to do to be able to do all of these automations for your reverb or delay or whatever you want to automate is to first of all go over to the mixer. Okay right click on whatever aux track you want to create automation for and go to create track or you can just press ctrl t which is the shortcut anyways and once you do that the aux track is going to appear here and then from here you're going to be able to assess the automation features right so we just press a now we can see all of the parameters that we can automate for example we can create automations for all the plugins in the aux track as you can see you know we can go into our dsr and automate whatever we want to automate here but the fun part about all of this is being able to automate your reverb and delay bus right so that's what we're going to do for example if we want to increase the amount of delay on the lead track first thing we're going to do is go over to our lead aux which we've already converted to a track and then go over to automation mode i'm just going to add another reverb buzz just to demonstrate go over to the automation mode and select torch or latch whichever one you prefer i usually prefer latch once you've done that you will play the record and then just move the fader okay and as you can see we now have a new automation clip for this boss and from here you're just going to go ahead and draw your automation as you wish so that's how you create automation clip for your sense right your reverb or delay sense okay but now to do this delay automation that you're currently hearing right you would obviously repeat the same process but this time around we're going to convert the delay aux into a track which i've done here and as usual again you're going to be able to assess all of the plugins and create whatever automation clip you want to create for whatever parameter you want to create automation for and in this case i created an automation clip for the feedback that's always using to control the feedback of the delay and if you listen to the record you can hear that the delay gets louder as the song progresses right which creates this you know very juicy effect <laughs> So that's it. It's very simple. Again, the process is convert whatever aux track you want to create an automation for into a track by just going to right click and create track. And that will enable you to have access to all the automation controls. It's that simple. By the way, this song is serviced by me and Dreshime. If you've not heard this record by now, I'm going to leave a link below so you can listen to it. This is actually a very dope song from my EP Project Atmos that I dropped last year. I think I'm due for another EP by the way. I think I should start working on something new. So yeah, man, this is how you automate your bus slash send slash aux tracks in logic pro x it's actually very dope it's very very important to do stuff like this in my opinion because it keeps the record dynamic right things change so it keeps it very very interesting and then also as you can hear you can use it to create some very very amazing dramatic moments within your mix or within your record right that's it this is a very short one i hope you got something from this and if you did make sure you leave me a like and subscribe if you've not and if you'd like to book my services for stereo and dolby at most mixing and mastering i'm going to leave a link to the engineers page so you can book my services there or you can hit me up on instagram at benny mccauley db and if you are a music producer or an upcoming artist and you like to record yourself and you have logic i'm going to leave a link below to a logic pro recording template as well it comes with a free afrobeat preset and also with all stock plugins so all you need is just logic okay and then if you like to buy my vocal and mastering preset for logic and fl studio i'm going to leave a link below as well to where you can cup them okay that's going to be for now i shall see you on the next one benny mccauley out Best thing, best thing, early morning text, early morning first, best.